I'm your host, Night Fright. Night Fright! I'm your host, Night Fright, and welcome to my top show. Okay, let's get right into it. Uh, we last left off uh, with um, Annabelle uh, DVD review. So let's get into our next DVD review. Okay, well, I picked this up at Walmart and it's called The Rings. And it's a very creepy movie. So, uh, I would say definitely pick this one up next time you're out there. Um, that is the front side of the DVD casing, and then here is the back side. So I would definitely watch this movie. And she is totally creepy. She comes out of an old abandoned well into a TV screen, and uh, the rest I'll just have to let you watch, and, and it's definitely one of the best horror movies I've seen so uh, recently here so uh, 2017 so and now on to our next DVD review and like I said I only had four left all right let's get into our next DVD review um, I picked this one up at Walmart, and uh, this is nothing like Aliens, but it's a pretty good show. Uh, I went to see the movie, and it's called Life, and here is the DVD, and uh, this is similar to Aliens. They do find an alien life form of like... Uh, like a um, tadpole of some sort. And uh, every time it uh, would devour like a mice or uh, any living creature, it would grow to humongous size. And uh, then it would attack the, uh, the humans uh, up in their space stations. So. Uh, here again, I don't want to give out too much detail, but uh, the movie's called Life, and uh, I definitely, if you like uh, alien sci-fi, I would definitely pick this up. And uh, here is the front casing. Uh, like I said, uh, nothing could beat uh, aliens, but uh, this this movie here would definitely give you a chill and. Uh, and I like to see different movies uh, that come out that are sci-fi uh, aliens uh, that do different things, you know. I just wish uh, the humans wouldn't get attacked all the time, but if it, if it never happened, then there would be much of a movie. So, um, and here's the backside. And this is a brand new 2017 movie that just came out on DVD, so uh, I would definitely pick this one up at Walmart and uh, on to our next two that I have here to show you. Alrighty, let's get back into the last two that I have, uh, DVD reviews. Uh, now we're going back to some old classic horror movies. And uh, let's show you this one here. This is uh, a double feature. I had got this off of eBay. And yes, I did cheat. I did not go to any stores, but I got it off of eBay, though. But I guess Movie Mars count, don't it? <laughs> so, um, so here is... The classic movie that I picked up here, uh, double feature, which is Ghouls and Ghouls 2. 
and I'm sure a lot of you have probably heard of this movie. I have not watched this yet, uh, so don't spoil it for me. I'm going to go and watch this for sure, and, uh, and it looks like it'll be pretty entertaining if it's anything like... Uh, uh, if this is anything like Gremlins, uh, then I'm in for a treat. Uh, but uh, if not, then I'm going to definitely get an enjoyable watching of this movie. So, um, and Ghouls 2 should be even better. So, uh, there's the front of the casing. And here's the back side of the casing. And I like double features. If they come out with any other uh, of these movies, uh, maybe I can get those on a box set too. So, alrighty, uh, on to our very last DVD review. Now on to our last DVD review. Another classic horror movie which I have not seen yet. And that DVD is Street Trash. Here's the front of the casing. And here is the back side of the casing. And it says here, it looks like things in New York City are going down the toilet. So, when I seen on the back of the casing here, it said Viper. There's like a, a, a bottle. And uh, I did watch a little bit of the movie. Uh, this liquor store manager here finds this box full of the Viper. Uh, bottles down in the basement and uh, he uh, brought it up to sell and every time somebody bought a bottle or stole it uh, then they drink it and all of a sudden their bodies would just uh, turn like jelly and, and just uh, like really gross looking uh, it's anything like uh, the movie uh, The Stuff uh, this movie really <laughs> is, you know, a beer drinking kind of movie that you'd want to watch. And I did watch some of it, um, so, and it looks like there's a lot of, like, bums out there that are, uh, that, like a gang, you know, type, uh, society, and, uh, so this movie I definitely would recommend and picking up. Uh, I'm going to go back and watch the rest of it. But yeah, Street Trash is a really good movie. Like I would definitely uh, sit back and have a few cans of beer watching this movie. So, um, well, I thought I would take up a little of your time uh, to discuss what's uh, what I'm looking forward to 2018 of the new year. Now, on my channel, you might notice that I've taken off the, uh, the the scary looking face that I had once had on there that came from the movie uh, uh, Ghost Story of the drowning girl uh, from the show and I put up a regular um, icon that's uh, called Night Fright Talk Show so uh, maybe the people that will come from their channels to look on my channel won't get so creeped out uh, when they come on there. So that was a big part of the change that I made on my channel. And uh, okay, another couple things, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this uh, that I would want to share with each and every viewer out there. Uh, back in 2011, I had a heart operation and and in the 2012, it, uh, it went into a staph infection of the spine. So yes, I am in a wheelchair, but uh, it's not keeping me down. I'm doing uh, therapy, and uh, so that's taking up most of my time. So if I don't get a DVD 
uh, review made, you know, each week or uh, probably be once a month because I am doing a lot of therapy starting in 2018. So, uh, so everybody wish me good luck on that. And then another thing I wanted to bring up was a couple channels uh, that I want to give a shout out to, which is Mr. Andrew Thomas and Lawborn. I know from YouTube and VidMe, and that's another thing I wanted to bring up right quick was VidMe uh, shut down, which I'm really disappointed in. But uh, there are some channels from VidMe that are making it over to Metajo, so uh, I'm really happy about that, and I hopefully more channels will soon uh, come on over and uh, open up a channel and uh, so make Metro feel big as ever. Now, uh, a while back we got like a, a questionnaire thing that we had to do from YouTube uh, that we had to fill out if we spent a lot of time on Twitter, which I do, and um, of course I like Vimo. If you've never been on that website, uh, I'm on there. Uh, but um, they wanted to ask, uh, you know, how they've been treating us, you know, as far as a website. And I gave my honest opinions. It's too bad that YouTube won't let us out. throw out our concerns about YouTube, uh, what they took away from us. And uh, of course, you know, we are uh, what you call a content creator uh, that makes our own videos and that YouTube don't seem to see that. So uh, hopefully they will start uh, noticing us more and uh, and give us you know a chance to to make it on on the internet. So. Um, that's the only concerns I had for 2018. I'm hoping that things will change. Uh, you know, we all have different ideas and we all like to share our ideas with everybody out there. And I haven't done this for a long time, but I want to thank all my subscribers that subscribe to my channel. And I will continue to support your channel if you want me to subscribe, you know. Uh, I always like watching and commenting on different uh, videos that you might be uh, presenting. So, um, for the 2018, I'm sure that you'll have a lot of ideas that you want to share. So, and I will too. Um, but you will also find me on Metajolt, and that's my hangout. Um, so, um, Everything's going pretty good other than that. And I want to wish everybody a happy new year. Let's go 2018. Let's make it uh, make it great. As Donald Trump would say, let's make the new year great. So until then, uh, I will see you in the new year. And I am Night Fright. And... Like I say to all my viewers, stay creepy.